<laughs> HBO's True Blood returns, ready to sink its fangs into season number five. I want to gorge on human blood because I like it. It's been a long nine months since viewers were left wondering what the fates of their favorite Bayou vampires and the people who love them would be. Season 4 ended with a series of cliffhangers that involved everything from ghostly warnings to witches to the ever popular, is she dead or isn't she? <laughs> on the blood red carpet premiere in Hollywood Wednesday night, the stars kept mum on the juicier details, but did offer some insight on the major changes in direction their characters will be taking over the course of the new season. I think she has some pretty mixed feelings about, you know, her special powers, because they're also the thing that have had people tormenting her and treating her poorly her entire life, you know? And yes, there's some incredible perks that come along with the, you know, the magic fingers and stuff, but it's been, uh, it's still pretty new for her, so she's still got some mi feel mixed feelings. Russell wants nothing more than anarchy. We'll bring him in. Or die trying. Eric and Bill have put themselves into a situation where they they have to get themselves out of it. So they they I think they think that two heads are better than one. That it'll be better if they work together than rather than be at each other the whole time like they usually are. I'm done with the drama. He chooses character over his own kind, um, and I think that he's he's really been a moral compass up till now. Um, but if you saw you know the end of last season, he's been pushed a bit far and so coming into this year he's he's pissed and uh, he's not taking anybody's crap anymore so really you're gonna see this transition into him really becoming the big bad wolf. Russell Edgington's dead. I mean they never told you? Serving as HBO's flagship drama for the past couple of years now the show based on the Southern Vampire Mysteries series of novels by author Charlene Harris has become must-see TV. Close to 5 million viewers tune in weekly to see the sexually charged vampires, steamy nude scenes, and supernatural storylines. <laughs> Big numbers for a premium cable channel, and cast members are just as hooked as viewers. The stories are really sexy and badass and scary and weird. When I got cast on the show, I mainlined it. No, again, you know, right, right, into the, right into the artery. I sat down in my office and watched HBO Go, watched all 48 hours uh, in 10 days. It's not as big in England as it is here. Really? When I was telling my friends that I'd got this job, some of them knew, um, some of them didn't, and most of them had heard of it. But when I tell people here, everyone knows, everyone knows what it is. It's really, really amazing. It's so punchy. It's so on, on the button every time. Alan Ball said once, it's popcorn for smart people. And I love this expression because it doesn't take itself too seriously, but it does address themes that are very, you know, contemporary, political, social, anthropological. It goes everywhere. How could you think I would dig up Russell Edgington? I trust no one. This fifth season will be series creator, executive producer, and director Alan Ball's last. He's stepping away from the helm of the show after this season's 12-episode run to focus on other projects, but will still be involved as a consultant as needed if HBO renews the show for a sixth season later this year. 3,000-year-old vampire wants to suck my blood. <laughs> Must be Thursday! As for this summer, viewers will finally get their bloodlust quenched when the True Blood season premiere airs on HBO Sunday, June 10th. In Hollywood, Scott Edwards, CBSNews.com.